Hello, my name is Margo Long and I'm the 4-H educator in Marion County. I found an interest in computational thinking while using the National 4-H Youth Science Day activities with my after school and school enrichment programs. Before we get started, I want you to take a few seconds to think about something as simple as using a calculator to solve a math problem. So before you can solve that math problem, you must understand and interpret the problem itself before the calculator can ever be used. Let's think about another example, um, making a presentation. You have a plan before using this computer hardware and software to put a deck of slides together. Um, I used that process as I was putting together this virtual presentation for you. What is computational thinking? Um, computational thinking is not a new process. However, it is a process of problem solving. Use, computer scientists use their skills and different approaches to solve complex problems. So you're probably trying to figure out what the difference between computer science and computational thinking. Computer science describes an entire discipline of creating computer programs and systems, while computational thinking is a process that allows people to solve complex problems systematically. Computational thinking consists of core, I'm sorry, four core concepts, decomposition, pattern recognition, abstraction, and algorithm design. Decomposition describes the thinking practice of breaking a problem down into smaller pieces. Pattern recognition describes the thinking practice of finding similarities or patterns between different things. Abstraction describes the thinking practice of pulling out specific differences to make one solution work for multiple problems. And lastly, algorithm, it's just simply a list that you can follow to finish a task or reach a solution. Whether we're 4-H professionals, 4-H volunteers, or even 4-H members, there's opportunity to utilize different approaches during 4-H activities such as club meetings to practice computational thinking. And on the screen here, um, you have the different concepts and then the different approaches that correspond with each of those concepts. Let's go a step further. Let's think about our 4-H cooking projects. Members use a recipe, which is an algorithm used to help food taste the same every time. When you think about our 4-H club meetings and the recre recreation officers provide a game for club members to play, the rules of the game are an algorithm. If you want to even think beyond 4-H and games like golf, players practice movement patterns to get consistent results. Physical fitness. Athletes use decomposition to figure out how they can increase their fitness change their diet, or even improve their performance. And last, music. We rely on patterns to help define the differences between jazz, country music, and even R&B. So as you can see, computational thinking just doesn't incorporate technology. Here's a simple unplugged activity that can be used to introduce computational thinking to your 4-H members. This lesson is computational thinking. Sometimes learning a new game can be tough, right? At first it might seem really confusing. 
And sometimes there's no one there to teach you the rules, so you have to figure it out on your own. The good news is that you can get better at figuring out things on your own when you know a few thinking tricks. These tricks are unique ways for looking at and solving problems. In this lesson, you'll learn about four tricks and practice them with your friends to figure out the rules to a game. When you break down a big problem into smaller pieces, you're using your brain to decompose the big problem. Once we've decomposed the big problem into several smaller problems, we can go on to our next trick, which is called pattern match. And that's when we look for similarities between things. Once I find the things that are the same, I can figure out what things are different. And when I remove those differences, that's called abstraction. And after I have figured out the steps to solving a problem, I can put those steps in a specific order called an algorithm so that anyone can use my directions to solve that problem. We're gonna use these four steps to figure out how to play the game with no rules. So by the end of the game, you'll be able to play something and get something that looks like this. We want to take computational thinking a step further. Here are a few additional resources to explore. These can simply be found by searching the titles on the screen in any web browser like Google. If you're looking for the lesson plan in which was shared in the previous video, code.org is a great resource to find computational thinking lessons. If you have specific questions or looking for more ideas to incorporate computational thinking in your 4-H activities, feel free to reach out to me by the email listed below. And thank you for taking the time in listening to this virtual presentation about computational thinking.